I have to comment on that first reading. Eloquently read by Simcoe. And he practiced it. And before Mass, I asked him what it was about. He, he knew so well what it was about. I asked him, would you like to give the homily? And he said, no. So he would have been much more interested if he gave the homily. Basically, it's one of those long readings from the Book of Tobit. Um, very summary. Raphael, the archangel, is sent to earth to guide Tobit's son, Tobiah, to his wife, to his new wife. That's the outline of it. The problem is they're in ancient Assyria. They were, they're captives. They're, they're in foreign territory, and they could not either bury, bury the dead or they could not have religious marriages. So that was the basic line. So all this detail is great because it makes you feel like you're part of it when this one wants to go here and she says no and she says yes. The, the bottom line is, another bottom line, um, there was a person who came to earth from hell. And Tobias, uh, Sarah, was promised in marriage to him. There were seven of them. One, one angel, angel of, of, of Satan, under seven different disguises. And, every, and he, they want to see if they, if they intermarry, they, they really they lose the faith. So the idea of, of Satan and the false gods is if she marries outside the faith, then we'll, we'll have her because her children will be Assyrian children, pagan children. So they have these weddings after a period of time. On the wedding night, every Husband dies. They have seven weddings, seven feasts, seven funerals. And so she never, her marriage is never consummated until it's consummated with Tobiah, who was chosen by God. How was he chosen? Just trace it back. Raphael the angel is with T Tobit, the father, who's blind, by the way, um, gives him some symbols to encourage him to do God's will and send his son to that girl over there. That's Sarah. You hear all this. People got intrigued, and, and they're in, introducing different people to, to the family and, and so on. And different people get involved, even down to uh, preparing the, the wedding room. But the bottom line is they're living in a country that is causing them to be in exile. They're living in exile and they're forbidden to practice the faith. Now this is, it's one of those books that are not in the Protestant uh, Bible, but it is in the Christian Bible because we, we took it, the Catholic Bible, we took it as, although it's, it's um, apocrypha, we decide when, when the books of the Bible were brought together that the Jews used it, we're going to use it. Okay, so that's, that's the book of Tobit. What happens is, it, the teaching is the sacredness of marriage, the sacredness of family, and fighting for the faith in a hostile territory. Now we know Christians cannot be married in certain hostile territories throughout the world. We know Christians are always being persecuted in certain countries throughout the world. Read this book from thousands of years ago. We say, that's old stuff. It's not old stuff. People today in, in Arab countries, in North Africa, are not permitted to marry. They're not permitted to carry on their faith. Churches can't even be built. So, you know, we are spoiled here. We don't have it perfect in this country, but we have freedom. It's being challenged left and right every day, especially the Catholic Church, every day it's being challenged. But the bottom line of the scriptures are fidelity to God and fidelity to carry out God's work through what we call the sacraments, marriage in this case, family fidelity, family 
string. Supporting each other through the adversaries of the world. Keeping your eye on each other. Now, go back and under this, Raphael is helping this get facilitated. And he's an angel. Nobody sees him. But he appears as a person. He's doing God's will. So we have marriage. We have Christian life. And we have guardian angels all being discussed in this book. And we all have guardian angels. Last week, Pope Francis told the crowds that he was talking to, to be friends with your guardian angel. Everyone has one. We don't think about that too much. It's traditional. But you know what? So is Christ's tradition. So is the sacraments traditional. So once again, to the mouth of babes, Timco, we have this extraordinary work and length of this, this selection was extraordinary as well. That still gives us God's word and encourages us to live God's word. We don't have it easy. They didn't have it easy centuries ago. Our world doesn't have it easy. Why? Because you believe in Jesus Christ. Case closed. You believe in faith. The Jews believed in the Torah and God's word. And the fulfillment of God's word is Jesus. So the continuity of persecution continues. And we hopefully continue stronger to live our faith.